I want to go to Pete Ricketts right now, the Nebraska governor, uh, the co-chair of the Republican Governors Association. And, Governor, I'll get back to you on that same subject here. This is of great interest to you. Uh, but what's interesting is it only seems of great interest to some others in these affected cities who are only now worried about the plight of migrants that they ignored when they were just in Texas or just on the Arizona border. Uh, then it was, uh, you know, a non-issue, and then no one said a peep about it. Now it's at their doorstep, and they're doing more than peeping about it. Some are even filing claims with the Justice Department to protest what, what's being done. What do you think of this? Yeah, your uh, previous guest was exactly right, and you're right. This is hypocritical behavior. And again, it's just how this issue on the southern border is impacting all of us that so many of these officials wanted to ignore. i got to tell you, here in Nebraska, one of the things we've seen since the Biden administration has abdicated its responsibility to defend our southern border is a huge amount of fentanyl and other illegal drugs coming across the border, coming to our state, and impacting our citizens. Uh, we had a young woman, a mom of two, Terrilene Griffith, who took a counterfeit pill with, uh, that was laced with fentanyl, and she died of an overdose. And unfortunately, that's all too common experience now where we see so much fentanyl coming across the border and it's killing our young people here in states like Nebraska. I'm just wondering as well, Governor, then where this goes. If they're now, I know California Governor Newsom really wants to take this case and have uh, the government look into how, uh, you know, these other governors, specifically, you know, uh, Governor DeSantis in Florida with this Martha's Vineyard thing, and of course, what's been happening in Texas with these buses going to a lot of these sanctuary cities, uh, it, it, but did not say boo about the many, many times uh, that President Biden, through ICE, has done the same uh, in much, much greater numbers uh, with planes that left little notice, middle of the night. You know the drill better than anybody. Uh, for all I know, Nebraska got yeah, some fact, of those. So, so where is the, the consistency here and where is anything approaching solving the problem here? Yeah, in fact, there's no consistency. In fact, you may recall that when the Biden administration was flying these uh, illegal immigrants around the country, they were landing them, as you point out, in the middle of the night, and then denied that they were even doing it. Uh, you know, of course, that raises concerns from my colleagues uh, like Kim Reynolds or Bill Lee that this was actually human trafficking. And it was only under duress, it seemed like, that the federal government actually admitted they were doing this. So they were, they were trying to cover this all up. And of course, uh, my colleagues in uh, Florida and in Texas have been doing this out in the open. So I think that, uh, again, there's just hypocrisy coming from the federal government, the Biden administration specifically, about how this is being handled. And again, I think you heard from your previous guest, this has been a huge burden on our border towns that the federal government hasn't done. And, and of course, the, the Biden administration is 100 percent wrong when they say they're doing more than the Trump administration. We got to remember that the policies the Trump administration put in place brought illegal crossings to a 40 year low, a 40 year low. And here you can't even get the press secretary to say, hey, people don't come here illegally, don't break our laws. And in fact, it's dangerous to do so. We can't even get them to say that. Well, it's even worse than that, Governor, because uh, the reading is that there's no reading, no problem. The border is secure. Uh, right. That, that, that does not advance go. Uh, Governor, thank you very much for taking the time. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.